My name's Dan Craddock um, and I work for Engineers Without Borders UK. I think it's really important that you have a good mix of engineers and that they are able to mix um, amongst their peers who are doing slightly different strands of engineering. I hope that students gain an understanding of uh, looking at a design problem, um, understanding the context for that problem and being able to work in teams to come up with a solution to, to address that problem and making sure that it's an appropriate solution. I hope that they come away from this week having a better understanding of global issues and understanding why working on projects such as a Global Engineering Challenges Week, why that's so important for their future careers and development of their skills. My name is Blake Hemingway, I work for Jaguar Land Rover. When we first set up the Global Engineering Challenge it was about trying to get people to work together in inter interdisciplinary teams uh, and improve their communication skills rather than just so solely focusing on technical learning in the first year. What these companies are trying to do is to look at how student, these students are different, what makes them more employable, how are they going to deal with people in groups, how are they going to work in groups and that's what GEC will help our students do, it will force them out of their comfort zone, force them into these groups to work sometimes for the first time in these multidisciplinary roles. My name is Jonathan Burrell and I work for Rolls-Royce. When I was invited to become part of the Global Engineering Challenge, I thought it was a great way of explaining to the students the kind of employability skills that they will get from taking part in the week. These are the real skills that are useful in the workplace. It's, it's very important to have the academic qualifications as well, but getting on with people working in teams is a real, it is a skill in itself and it's a really good way of being more effective as a person. I'm enjoying the week so far because getting to work with other people you get to um, find out more about other departments and um, work together on creating a new project. My name is Ian Jevons um, and I'm facilitator for this hub so today we're building on what we learned yesterday. The students learned, um, they, they researched the environment in which they did their project is based so the kind of political situation the population technology things like that so they understood the problem they've got also it's kind of raising awareness of the impact that engineering can have anywhere so we're not just talking about problems in the UK we can actually solve real problems abroad and things like that it's been teaching us sort of what engineering's like in the real world we have to think a lot more about logistics and as well as the sort of the technical aspects of a problem I find that really cool. I'm hoping that the students uh, this week are going to take on board a lot of the softer skills which uh, do come out in a subtle way in a lot of the modules that they do for the rest of their degree but this is a way of bringing them all together into what is actually a real life project. It's been really interesting, it's been great working with these new people that you've never met and uh, working with the different departments, we've got chemical engineers, mechanical ones and we're all kind of contributing our own strengths to the group and getting to know each other and it's been a really quite interesting experience so far. The group's getting on really well. It's it's nice to work with people from other departments, that's something that's really, really good because you can get sort of closed up in your uh, course at times. I've just been talking to the students about um, their concept designs and their decision making process and what their, what their ideas are and what their project is, uh, which is really useful and they're asking me a lot of questions about industry, which is nice. <laughs> the alumni that I've spoken to have been really impressed with the students, with the projects that they're working on and with the ideas they're coming up with. They want to see them think outside the box a bit, but that's not necessarily an insult to the work that the students have been doing. So everyone I've spoken to so far has been really impressed and really engaged, and they hope that the students realise all the skills they're developing that will help them with their CV and will help them with interview questions. When you come to interviews, this will be the kind of thing you will dis discuss with the interviewer quite a lot, because you will get so much out of this one week. I think it's the teamwork and the communication skills you can prove to an outside employer that you've done will give you a, a head start. It's been, it's been overall a lot of fun. I mean, there were times when it was a bit frustrating perhaps, but in the end, I mean, just getting together, having that kind of you know, diversity of engineers coming together at the table and trying to figure out you know, a solution for the problem that we've been given was, I would say, just a lot of fun overall. I think it's been a success and now I can see that now I'm working in industry, how what the students were learning in the Global Engineering Challenge is relevant to, to working as a professional engineer.